everybody thank you for joining me today so on today's video we're going to take a look at these um, LED light circuits uh, to do this card we're going to start with uh, this piece of vellum and I'm going to be doing some embossing on it so that's why I just covered the whole thing with powder and I'm trying to find or figure out exactly how I'm going to lay everything down now, hindsight being 2020, I probably should have used my Misty tool, but I just wanted to grab one of my clear blocks and just, you know, get it stamped. But with the Misty tool, I would have had more even coverage. There were some spots that didn't stamp fully, and you always run the risk of um, smudging when you do it on a block, because you know, with vellum, it's very important that you go down and up and you could see there up in the very top how I had a little bit of a smudge because it fell out of my hand the block but I'm gonna trim it down anyway so we're not gonna worry about it so we're just gonna keep going and we're gonna use the butterfly and sentiment from the same stamp set and I just periodically because of having to pick it up and put the um, clear embossing powder on it I'm touching it and I don't want my the oil from my fingers to mess up you know where I'm stamping so once again the clear embossing and powder over both and then heat it up so that way it is set alright so now I'm just gonna real quick just trim that down some now I will say this, in doing this card, I struggled with trying to figure out how I wanted to make these lights work, you know, like what was going to be the wow factor. Um, right here, all I'm doing is kind of marking on my paper where I think the holes are possibly going to go. Because I was thinking the idea would be like, the lights would come through these holes and you know it would kind of illuminate the what's the word I'm looking for this vellum you know sheet that we just created so in figuring some things out I realized with the vellum I'm probably gonna need a frame only because there's gonna be have to be a spot where I can hide the foam tape how am I gonna hide you know the things I need to attach this you know to my actual card front with so right here I'm just taking the foam tape and I cut it in half and with this foam tape you could almost cut it even smaller than that um, on my little frame here I do wind up having parts that stick out but I you know just like with anything else if any part is sticking out I just trimmed it down so that way you know everything would line up and then I realized, okay, good, that's going to give me some space in between. And then I was like, well, how am I going to press the battery to make sure that the lights come on? <laughs> so in the process of doing this and laying it down and trying to figure it out, I realized I was going to have to put a piece of foam behind the butterfly. And that would allow me to be able to press down. So inside, we get two batteries. And I want to say you get six white lights, and then you get two red, two yellow, and two blue, okay? And I just took two of the whites, one of the batteries out, and I was getting ready to start figuring everything out when I actually realized I can't do it on this side. <laughs> Because if I tape everything down the way you're supposed to, the light isn't going to come through the hole. So, in the process of laying this down, and you can see here, trying to figure out how I was going to get these lights to work, I realized, okay, so I have to use the card base itself. I cut down my little white square little piece. That's where it's going to house the battery. And the copper or the foil yeah the copper here um, has a backing on it that you peel off and the key is to make sure that your copper is always crossing over on itself that it's connecting because that's how 
the current is going to run from the battery to light up your lights, okay? And you need two different rows of copper, one for the minus and one for the plus side. And you got to make sure that the copper does not intersect with the other. So if you're doing your line for your plus, you got to make sure it's not touching your minus, okay? And that's why on the sheet you saw that I had drew a plus sign and a minus sign. So that way I would remember what side to put the um, lights. Now, of course, on camera, I'm playing with it and I'm like, why isn't this working? This is, I got everything laying down right. Well, I just had to move the battery a little bit up and it worked perfectly. Now what I'm doing here is trying to make a well so that the top piece, which is the negative, doesn't just lay on the battery and make the lights be on all the time. The idea is so that it's high enough and it creates enough distance that you actually have to press down on it to get the lights to turn on. All right, and I just keep testing it periodically because I just want to make sure I'm not messing it up or making it where it's not going to uh, hit the lights. And I'm trying to just make sure that everything is lining up. All right, so then on this one, I'm putting the foam tape around the outside edge and I'm having to put as many layers as I did for the battery because I want to make sure when I put this on everything is even you don't want it to be wopsided or extra thick in one spot and uh, you know not enough foam in another so I figured the best way would be just to do my three layers using the foam tape on the outside edge as well so that way it would be the same height as the center and then um, lined it up so that way Whenever I hit the button, everything would line up perfectly. All right. And then once I figure out exactly making sure that everything is, you know, going to work properly, I just take the backing off of the foam on the card, making sure not to take the foam off of the butterfly because I didn't want it to stick to it. I want it to press down and give me pressure on the card. And I'm going to turn off my lights here so you can kind of see this light up. Whoop, whoop. There's some lights. There's our lights. <laughs> and I just turned on my phone there just to give me a little bit of light. And then I just turned everything back on. But there's the card. I mean, it was really interesting. It was a lot of work just trying to figure out the initial one because I wanted to what was in my head wasn't fully coming out on the card itself. Um, I still have some supplies left. I will need more batteries if I use, you know, more of the uh, lights. The copper, um, I think that's going to last me a good little bit. So I would suggest them, try them, why not? I mean, it's fun to do something a little different, maybe surprise somebody, um, you know, with a little bit more of an interaction type card. I know they're in the boutique. You can order these as a kit or um, individual. I believe they have like the lights and the, uh, the copper wire separate, and I think the batteries too. So. So thank you guys for joining me today. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and share button. And the links to the Facebook page is below. So make sure you click over there and have fun shopping. Thank you guys. Have a great day.